Hello there and thanks for logging on to Hoo-Ha Sports Today, your daily sports update and review show covering all that's happening in your world of football and beyond. Yes, we've been away for a while just recharging our batteries before we take it to the home stretch towards the year end, only to come back and feel a little bit under the weather. But thanks for your messages, especially to MD1882, Queen's Park Rangers fan. Yeah, I guess you wanted to know our reaction uh, to your victory over Chelsea last week where the referee's judgment was highly questionable. Nonetheless, a historic win for Rangers. But who would have thought that United will experience their worst defeat in decades at the hands of their noisy neighbours? And as the mirror in the UK clearly indicated with this pictorial, maybe a little too soon for that. But a week has passed and taking cue from the previous week, there were more surprises and unexpected results. So we've decided to introduce a new segment called 60 Seconds. All that can be summarized about the weekend in the Premier League in a minute. But let's look at the table before we get to that. South of the border, both Wigan and Bolton have accumulated 8 losses so far. Wigan going down 2-0 at home to Fulham while Bolton were 3-1 losers at Swansea. It must be heartbreaking for Blackbirds. Steve Keane just can't seem to buy a win, despite an interesting and entertaining 3-0 draw with Norwich in one of the matches of the weekend. Meanwhile, there's a three-way scruff between Everton, Fulham and Sunderland to stay away from the relegation zone. And QPR are the lowest-ranked promotion side, sitting in 12th, slipping down after that 3-1 loss to Spurs last night to the top half and City's win over Wolves maintain that five-point gap to United who sort of bounced back with a win over Everton and I wouldn't say that it was a commendable performance anyway. But a big surprise was the Chelsea Arsenal 3-5 mauling. Who would have guessed that? Is all forgiven with Arsene Wenger or is Robin Van Persie the man who is solely carrying the responsibility making most of us calling them a one-man team? But watch Newcastle sandwich at 19 points with the two London clubs. And they could go third if they just get a point at Stoke tonight and maintain that unbeaten run. Norwich and Swansea are doing the right thing by getting the points where it matters and staying in positive territory which is essential for survival. Tomorrow we will look at the fans, uh, what the fans are talking about as we look at the Facebook pages. Be interesting to find out how the Chelsea and Arsenal guys are reacting to the weekend's results. But let's get into our new Monday segment, 60 Seconds, and all that was in the Premier League over the weekend. Ready, set, let's go. Referees do receive a lot of slack, but the man in the middle for the Chelsea-Arsenal match, Andre Mariner, probably gave one of the best performances. No harsh cautions, most of the yellow cards he dished out came after the 70th minute, and he used a lot of common sense in his judgment. While ref's assistant, Andy Halliday, should take care of himself, required to be substituted in the Everton United game when he slipped and looks like he injured his back. The missus won't be impressed. Despite Manchester City's winning ways, they are not too good in keeping it tight at the back. No clean sheets at home in the last three games in all competitions. Same can be said about Chelsea's back line. Since the opening match against Stoke, the Blues haven't had a clean sheet in the Premier League. Even though United's back four could be blamed for their ineffectiveness, focus should be on their attack-minded midfield. And if teams can convert their chances on the break, anyone can damage United. And finally, that 3-5 result at Stamford Bridge following last week's 1-6 United loss, we summarise that one should not try their hand at predicting the scoreline. At the rate it's going, you probably have to throw the phone book into the trash. And that's 60 seconds up. And that will do it for today. We'll be back tomorrow with reaction from the fans as we uh, scour the Facebook pages. Till then, from the team, it's bye for now.